Today's project starts out with some handmade paper. I'm using three different shades of just scrap paper that I shredded up in my shredder. And I'm going to blend this up together in the blender with some water and make it into a pulp. I blend it up really well and I'm going to add some chamomile to this mix. That'll give it a little bit of speckle. Now I'm going to pour this pulp into a vat of water and mix it up really well just with my hands. I'm using a homemade mold and deckle. This will shape the paper into a rectangle. And now I'm adding some dried pressed flowers from my garden. They don't really come out placed right, so I did that myself. Now I'm going to flip this over onto a piece of linen. Now I take a sponge and I press out as much of the water that remains as much as I can. Now I'm going to remove the deckle by carefully lifting it up. This isn't normally done, but I'm flipping it just so you can see the flowers on the front side. Now I remove the piece of linen and it still will be stuck to the other piece of linen. I'm pinning the cloth to a hanger, just with some straight pins, so I can hang it to dry. I let it dry overnight and it becomes my paper. It's a little bit curved, so I'm going to remove my linen and put it on a press. I'll press this overnight so it will be nice and flat for the next day. For my tray, I'm going to be using a half inch sheet of cork and also a piece of one quarter inch board. I'm using some oak for the sides. I start out gluing the cork and the board together. This will give more stability because the cork is quite flimsy. Putting a board on top, 
I'm going to press it down with some full paint cans. This is a nice weight and it will be evenly distributed. Now I'm taking some white acrylic paint and I'm going to be painting my oak boards for the side, but I'm not going to be cover them completely because I want it to look like a distressed look. You can see here that I have not painted the board completely. This will also be sanded down later on. Now that my cork and wood has dried nice and flat, I can put my beautiful flat piece of floral paper on top. I'm using some decoupage glue. I glue it onto the back side of the paper. After this is completely covered with the glue, I place it onto the cork, making sure that it's centered. Again, placing another board on top to press and adding my paint cans as a weight. I ran out of that first decoupage glue, so I bought some more. This is a different brand called Mod Podge. Works really well. I'm going to saturate the whole entire top of this board. I'm going to be using resin in this project, so the reason why I'm doing this decoupage glue is to protect the paper from becoming too dark because resin has a tendency to do that. Now that it's dry, I'm going to be gluing some sacrificial wood onto the edges of the board. This will create um, a nice border so I can pour my resin in and it won't leak out. I'll be using a two-part resin from Naked Fusion. It's a one-to-one -one ratio epoxy and hardener. I mix it up really well and then I pour it on. My six ounces of resin covered the top of this but I had some of the flowers still sticking up so I repeated this pour two times to make sure that everything was covered completely flat. Now I take my little blowtorch and pop all the air bubbles. I'm going to be letting this cure overnight. After it's dried, I cut off the sacrificial wood, making sure that all the borders of the cork are even with the paper. Now it's time to cut my whiteboards at a 45 degree mitered angle. After all my boards are cut, I take some 150 grit sandpaper and sand them down even more. This will give it a beautiful shabby chic rustic look.
I chose these handles to put on either side of my tray. I find the center of the board, make a little mark, and then measure the distance where the screws will be placed. And then I mark that distance on the board. I drill those marks with a hole big enough to receive the screws all the way through. Now I can glue my edges to my cork board. I'm just using wood glue, making sure I have all my corners and the bottom edge of my boards glued. Now I have a band clamp that will make sure that all of these joints are very tight and pressed to the sides of the cork board. After the glue has dried, it's time to put a protective coat finish on the white. I have put paper down on top of the resin so it doesn't get sprayed. I wanted to add another element of metal to this, so I found these corners online and they will be attached to each of the corner on the outside edge and they have little tiny nails. So right now I'm just marking where they need to be going in and drilling just a very tiny pilot hole on each mark where I can hammer these little tiny nails in. I'll be repeating this process for all four corners. Now it's time to put the handles on. The screws fit perfectly inside the holes. Now all we have to do is screw them in. Time to take the paper off. Everything is dry and everything is done. The final detail is using these little felt pads to attach to the bottom so they will protect your furniture.
So here's the final tray. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making this video for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to watch more fun videos in the future. Press that like button, share if you like. Your support is greatly appreciated. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and I always respond. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and creative day. Bye.